In this video, you're going to learn how to work with scale factors to find the missing volume of two similar polyhedrons. And let's dive into this word problem. I'll show you how to do this. We've got two similar hexagonal pyramids that have heights of 4 centimeters and 10 centimeters. If the smaller pyramid has a volume of 40 centimeters cubed, find the volume of this larger pyramid. So the two uh, pyramids are similar, which means that the um, ratio of the heights, we're going to take a look at that. So we've got 4 to 10. You could reduce that down to 2 to 5. So basically, the ratio of these two pyramids is 2 to 5. But when you're comparing the volume, which is three-dimensional, you have to take that ratio and cube it. If you were comparing the areas, you would take that ratio and square it. If you were just comparing like maybe the side lengths here, these base side lengths, uh, they would be in the same ratio, 2 to 5 because the, uh, the pyramids are similar. But because we're dealing with volume, we're going to take that ratio and we're going to cube it. And this comes out to 2 cubed, which is 8. 5 cubed is 5 times 5 times 5. That's 125. And we're going to make a proportion to solve for the volume of this larger pyramid. Now, notice we have small to large. See, 8 is smaller than 125, small to large. Volume of the smaller pyramid, which they tell us is 40 centimeters cubed to the larger pyramid. So small to large, small to large, or you could do like left to right, left to right. You want to keep that consistent. Now to solve this, we can do a couple things. We could either do the cross uh, product where we say 8x equals 40 times 125. A lot of students like that method. Or we can say 8 times 5 is 40. 125 times 5 is 625 centimeters cubed, and that would be the volume of the larger pyramid. If you want to see more examples of working with ratios and scale factors and similar figures, I'll put a video I did right there. Follow me over to that video and we'll get some more practice. I'll see you there.